All right, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to link to external files while using ActionScript. Um, we're going to be doing this by using the navigate to URL method. Uh, and some of the things you can accomplish are like to link to MP3 files or link to view PDFs or download zip archives, you know, opening up external HTML files or even the send emails. Um, the list goes on and on. So before we begin, uh, I want to let you know there's the tutorial assets at the top of the page that you can download to, uh, to help you go along with this video. Alright, so if you have the tutorial, or if you have the assets opened up, you will have a main action script, which should look similar to the one you ha I have on the screen here, and then the navigate to URL flash file, which contains the button. Um, before we begin, I have uh, this example here. This is going to show us what we're going to be covering. So we have this Google button. When I click on it, it will open up the Google web page. Pretty simple. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. Uh, before we before we go too far with the code, I I want to go ahead and import the built-in classes that the navigate to URL method requires for it to actually function. If we don't do this. Later on, we'll get messages, and let's just let's just get it out of the way. So uh, the first one is uh, import flash dot net uh, dot navigate to URL. The second one is import flash dot net URL request. Okay, those are in there. Great. Uh, now I'll explain how the navigate to URL works. It actually is built in side of a function. So we create our private function and then we link it to our button by using the add event listener uh, click method. So let's go ahead and create our function first. I'm going to go down here and the private function. Uh, now for these I recommend using uh, a descriptor that describes where you're linking to. So this one's going to be to Google so I'm going to name it navigate Google, oh, spelled that wrong. Navigate Google, uh, which is a mouse event, and they don't return a value, so let's go ahead and avoid. Okay, this next line is creating the actual variable that holds the the link that we want to go to, and uh, we'll do that by typing var. Uh, I'm going to call it desired URL, which is a URL request, like we typed up at the top for the import URL requests, and equals new URL requests. Okay, the second line is the actual action to uh, you know navigate to the URL. So this one's going to be called navigate to URL. Uh, notice the casing on here. It's it's very specific and it won't work if it's if it's off. So navigate to URL uh, which is desired URL is spaded up here URL and then we're going to do comma and uh, this next space is uh, what determines how the browser window uh, reacts when you click on it. You can either have the link open up in the same browser window that you're currently in or you can have it open up to a, uh, a new window. So uh, if you if you went and didn't type in anything and that's in that next space with, then it would open up in the same browser window. But for this example we're going to hide and put a comma here and quotes blank which is going to open up a blank window. Okay. Go ahead and save your file. Uh, now we have our nice function set up, and now we need to add the event listener to our button. So when we click it, it it reacts to the function. So let's type in button dot add an event listener. It's a mouse event. Click and navigate Google. Now, see, this is this is the main reason why I like calling it Navigate Google because uh, if you have more than one button uh, on on your display or within your code, uh, you would have to create more functions 
that lead it to other other websites. So now that we have Navigate Google up here, we can go back down into our function and we're going to type in the Google website within the URL request argument. So let's go ahead and type quotes HTTP google.com and that's it. Let's go ahead and hit save and run our movie and there you have it. You have a nice little button here that points right to Google. Alright, and that concludes this video. Thank you very much.